Before we get started, we got to pray. Even if it's just drinking a soda, it's going down the system. Okay. Th Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for this drink we're about to receive. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Do you see, guys? Do you see? It don't matter what time I try to do a video for you guys. If it ain't a car beeping, it's a car's alarm sounding. Something's always going on in New York, I'm telling you. So, say hi to Woody. If you haven't already, like, comment, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell, you will get ba -ba 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 bam bam Say hi to Woody, the workster. He got a tattoo first than I did. Okay? So, guys, I didn't open it. I wanted to wait to open it with you guys. Let's just make sure this is nice and straight. So that you guys can see both. Darth Raider and Stormtrooper, but I guess they probably moved Stormtrooper a little bit because the his arm was like swinging over here. So here, here's the jug. I'm going to put the soda in here so that I can try it. Of course, let me put it down here, y'all. I hope you're all having a good day, a good evening, a good night, a good morning. Please, guys, because I haven't said this in so, so, so long because I've been doing your videos and just shooting it and getting it done for you guys. If you ladies have not looked in the mirror yet to tell yourself how gorgeous and beautiful you are, please smack them thighs and look at yourself in the mirror and do it. And tell yourself how beautiful and wonderful you are. For the men, my cousin said I bite your lip, but I say tap your shoulder. And tell yourself how handsome you are in that mirror. Every day you wake up in the morning, I don't care what you look like. I don't care. If your eyes are swollen, if your hair is messed up, so what? Look at yourself in the mirror and tell yourself how beautiful and handsome you are because you are. And if nobody tell you, I'm telling you, you're beautiful and you're handsome. So guys, get your food, snacks, dinner, lunch, because we're about to do this taste test. VB. Okay, this is my first time trying Pepsi Mango. I don't know what it's going to taste like, but I have it here. See, have a drink. Have some, y'all. Have some. You can have some. Just take it. Sharing is caring. Okay. So I'm ready for this. I'm ready. Wow. That flavor is intense. Uh. Oh, excuse me. And it made me burp. Oh, my goodness. You guys, I actually don't eat um mango fruit, so tasting it in soda, it tastes good. I can't believe it. Hmm. Let's let's let's, let's sip, sip sip a little more, okay? <sighs> guys, this is good. I'm drinking this with y'all. This is good. I know you're gonna want to try this tomorrow, Sasuke. But Sasuke here. I'm going to show you guys the brand. Of course, it's Pepsi. It's Pepsi Mango, you guys. This is a taste test review on Pepsi Mango. If you haven't tried it, please, guys, try it. Do a review on it, a taste test, and give me your thoughts. Here, son. Can you put this in the fridge for me? Because yeah, sure. I don't want it to get watery. I do not want it to get watery, you guys. So I'm telling him in front of you, look. That's a decent amount to drink with you guys to make this video a little bit long. If you get my drift, come to the camera and say hi, Sasuke. Hello. <gasps> Did you see that man? Who is he? Grab it right, puppy, so you don't drop it. If there's no space, um, let Kani know so he can put it in the fridge. Guys, I went full shopping. I was not playing. I said I'm going to have to, and I still, I have to get, I have to get meat to you guys because... 
When I went to the supermarket, I brought a lot of canned goods. That's the first thing I've been thinking to get. Because it's like, this, these two supermarkets that's close by me that I go to, the meat has not been looking well. It smells really bad. I have told them about it, and yet they're still selling it. No. I will only buy canned goods there, and I have to go to an actual farm market to cut me some fresh chicken, some fresh pork, and some fresh um, steak because, no, and beef. Mm -mm. Me and my family are not going to get no food poisoning because they want to sell old meats, okay? That's not good. Let me tell you guys, I done been to these two supermarkets and I should be working and I should actually be the owner there because every time, look, when I go to my supermarket, you guys, the first thing I like to do is look at the sales menu. I like to look at the sales menu to see what they got on sale. If they don't have anything on sale, I like to look at, you know, the normal things I would normally get like cakes, snacks, cookies. You know, things that we would eat, but you know, I'm changing that around, I'm trying to put like low sodium versions of the same thing that I eat. So when I look at things, I like to study them. I like to check the date. I'm a date person. If I see that the snack or any type of food or snack that I get, even soda, water, if, it, if I don't see the date, I'm not getting it because I don't know when it expires. I don't know if it's good or not. So... There's been a couple of times in my supermarket here. Uh. Oh, excuse me. That I went and I told them, you know, your cakes are expired. They say, for example, if you go to the market, right? Because you guys travel a lot. You have cars. I don't got a car. So if I travel, I will have to take my shopping cart with me to travel further to take the bus, the cab, or the train. So let's say, for example, you guys travel to BJ's, right? And you are a faithful customer. I mean, faithful, faithful. And you go, and today we are on what? Let's check the date right now. Today we are on Saturday, June 12th. They have cakes there. They was, they was there from May 12th. That is a month. That is a full month. You're, imagine if the health department come, you know, what, whatever. Because um, sometimes they have like these secret people that come to check the whole stores to inspect the stores, to make sure that everything is up to date in order to pass the inspection. It's like the same thing with your house. Like if you have a certain program, they will go to your house and inspect, make sure that, you know, the landlord's doing what he's supposed to do. You guys, so many times the supermarket here in the corner for me, they will leave the cake there. And I warned them. I said, listen, I will never tell you guys again. I told them so many times, you got cakes there expired. You got bread there expired. How are you guys still making money here? How is the supermarket still open here? How the hell you get an A plus? How? That's why I said, I'm not telling them anything no more because it's like they still leave it there for people to buy and... It's kind of dumb because they're going to bring it back and say this is expired. Especially if they don't look at the date like I do. And so they started doing it. They started, you know, moving their asses, doing it right. You know, I was doing their job for them. I said, okay, you got like 10 or 15 cakes there that's expired. And it shouldn't be there. Because I don't want to feed that to my son. I don't want my neighbors to feed that to their kids either because I have a kid. I think about everyone. You understand what I'm saying? So... You know what I did? Because I was telling like the cashiers. Those are the stupid ones to tell. Forgive me for saying it, but it is. So I saw the owner. I saw the owner and I said, you know, miss, can I talk to you for a second? And she said, sure, why not? You know, in Spanish. And I said, you know, I've been coming here for a long time, for many years, but I don't buy meat there. I just buy the canned goods and things that I need that's on sale that they have. And they are not expired. So I told her, I said, you know, I come here, I get snacks, I get cakes. You guys know, because I've been doing my reviews. I've been doing all these things. And the cakes be expired. And they don't move it. They literally leave it there. And ever since I told her, let me tell you guys. um, They, they doing the up to date. Because it's like, if you work there, you got to treat your work as hello. If it was your own home, you're going to feed your family that old um, chicken 
or that old cake or anything expire? No. But listen, there's people that do not play. The minute it expires, the next day they throw it away even if it's still good. And I'm the type of person that I don't eat anything expired. I don't. If we, if I get anything, you, shh, listen, honey, ain't nothing going to be expired here because I eat my sonny and my fiance eat, honey. We, we going to make sure that it's gone before the expired date. Okay. <laughs> Let me get to this, guys, because this is good. This is a test review, not a... Uh, <laughs> I keep saying test, a taste review. <laughs> so this Pepsi mango taste review is amazing. I will keep buying this. This is super delicious, you guys. I would suggest for you to try it because it's good. And yes, before I brought this Pepsi Mango, I checked the date, you guys. And also, shout out to Queen B because she requested for me to try this. She also requested for me to try the, I believe, the Raspberry Mountain Dew, but they didn't have that here. So I brought the Pepsi Mango. She requested for me to try. So shout out to Queen B because she requested for me to try this. So here it is. And yes, this takes out my gas very good, y'all. Okay? <coughs> this is super good. But you guys, please, if you have this in your local supermarket, Walmart, anywhere that you may go shopping, do a review taste on it. Because it tastes super delicious. I love it. I won't buy it, you know, weekly or every day because, you know, the sugar... And I don't drink soda like that anymore. I drink more water. So I probably won't see soda for another two or three weeks. <laughs> that one, I'm definitely going to finish it with my family because it's super good. So this taste test is to stay. This Pepsi Mango taste test review is to stay. It tastes amazing. You guys, the mango is there. I was talking so much and didn't do my. Are you ready? Are you ready? Happy eating dance never stop. Hey, hey, here we go now, y'all. Happy eating dance never stop. Here we go. Are you ready? Are you ready? Even though it's not eating, but it's always here. Wait, wait. Happy drinking dance never stop. Hey, hey, here we go now, y'all. Happy drinking dance never stop. Are you ready? Are you ready? Ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum, bam, bam. <laughs> You guys, y'all know the happy eating dance is always going to be here. But of course, it's happy drinking dance. <laughs> I thank you guys for being here in this premiere, for joining me to drink this. I love y'all. I see y'all in my premiere. Y'all the best. Yes. I don't have anything to eat right now because the food I'm going to eat is going to be posted for Thursday. Because Monday is Rex's order that's coming up. Tuesday is the Love Empire's order coming up. Wednesday is Deflection 123's videos coming up. But Thursday, I am posting my own food because I made something that I want to share with you guys, of course. And yes, it has to do with rice as well because my son wanted rice. But I'm posting my own video Thursday and then I will continue with you guys' requests Friday. But shout out to you guys for giving me all these requests. I love you guys. You're amazing. Shout out. Shout out. Okay, I see you. Wait, see you in the premiere. Let me finish drinking this because I got a burp for y'all. I got a burp. Wait. Wait, you guys, because this soda's giving the burpees. What? <coughs> oh, excuse me. Mm. Oh, this is super good, you guys. Oh my God, thank you, um, Queen B for telling me to do a, a taste test review because I never knew that they even had a Pepsi Mango here. They just brought that over here by where I go because I, I haven't gone to this supermarket here. I started going to the one up there, but the meat doesn't look good either. So I just been buying like canned goods and stuff I needed. And that's why I found the soda. The soda and I said, yes. 
We have one here, so I gotta do the taste test for her because she requested that as well. And guys, I'm ready. I am super, super ready. You guys, we have so much we got going on for this summer. No, we're not traveling, but I am going to be traveling with my cousin and bestie because we are going to be doing a lot of vlogs for you guys. Yes, yes, and yes. So I can't wait to bring out everything we have planned for the summer, you guys. My son is going to be with his dad, but you know, I'm not sure what his dad has plans what to do with him. So I'm going to be home, you guys, because I like, I like vlogging. I like doing videos for you guys. I don't mind being in my house. I'm not an um, outside person. I don't like being outside, especially since everything is opening up next month. So it's going to be crazy out here, you guys. It's already crazy trying to travel because everybody's all in the way. You can't even pass through or go where you're going because they're literally sitting right in front of the outside. To go outside or to walk is like, it's going to be hectic. But it's always like that here in New York because New York never sleeps. <laughs> it was only quiet for the first time after all this other stuff went down. The first time seeing New York empty. That's about it. But it's back to normal. <laughs> but you guys, I love y'all so much. I pray that all you guys been having a good day, a good week, a good night, a good morning. I hope that anything that any of you may be going through, because there's been a few of you guys that I haven't seen, I want to give the most biggest shout out to a young male. I have not seen her and I was worried for her. I asked her how she was doing and she finally came back. I was so happy to see her. She thanked me because, you know, I left her a message on her channel and she was very happy and she felt, you know, good. I'm so happy to see you back, sis. You guys, if you don't know who Yum Mim's Recipes is, check her out. She has a great channel. She's back, but she will be posting shorts. She said, show him some love. And Sasuke! Mm. My family squad wants you to be on the videos with me. So you guys, I'm telling you in front of my son. I am going to buy a bigger table so that he can be with me doing the videos together because... I'm ordering this tomorrow, you guys. Yeah, I said it here. In front of the world. Uh, uh, excuse me. In front of the world, I'm going to order this big table so that me and my son can start doing my bangs together because he thinks he's slick. He owes me TikTok videos. He owes me my bangs. And he's like, Mom, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. And he hasn't done it. Okay? So you guys are my witnesses. Well, guys, I'm going to finish this little bit of soda with the rest of my meal that I'm going to have. And it's time. Are you ready? Are you ready? Until next time. No, Darth Raider, you ain't getting no soda. Get out of here. Sorry, I got to start all over. Until next time. I will see you tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. Always remember, you guys, be safe, stay safe. I'll see you on this premiere. I love you guys. You mean the world to me. Thank you, thank you for being a loyal squad, my family squad. You guys are the best. And shut the F up, Stormtrooper, because ain't nobody asking you about the soda, okay? So, yeah, I saw nothing, okay? So, with that being said, me and my family and Woody, the Wogster. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Love y'all.